when you when you travel the world, first of all, you get a chance to see different cultures, you know, and you know you get to mingle with people from other places. So you know it takes you out of your comfort zone, uh, and you have, you feel like you have to go and mingle and, and see how people live in different places, and you realize that it's not just your town and your neighborhood. Like there is a huge world out there, and you know you just, every day you're, you're, you're learning something new. And when you live in the same place, I think there's only so much that you can learn from there. And your mind, I mean, they say we're going to use so much of our, our brain on a daily basis. So when you go out and you see new things, you know, you're always captivating, you know, you're taking stuff in. So I always tell people the best experience that you can get in life is traveling. Getting out and seeing the world, it, it really is, you know, it really makes you, makes you want to do stuff for yourself, do opportunities that you have. Because unfortunately, some people don't get that chance to even travel and see the world. You know, they they don't want they're stuck like just because they don't have the finances or whatever the reason might be. So if you're in a position where you can, you know, you definitely should take advantage of it. You never know who, who you're going to meet and what you're going to learn on that trip or what you're going to get out of it and what impact you can make. Because once you're in a position to make an impact, then, then you shouldn't want to make an impact. Because once you're in a position to make an impact, then, then you shouldn't want to make an impact. Yeah, I'm pretty much talking about, I mean, what I did last year, you know, and my working with the NBA experience was amazing because not only did they take me all over my country, but um, I had a chance to do about 350 clinics in all of last year, um, but I had a chance to work with people like Robert Horry, Roger Bell, you know, a bunch of NBA coaches that came through, like, um, you know, we had, right now we're the coach of the national team, Scott Fleming, who's the assistant with the Mavericks. So I got to do clinics with you know, people like that. He keeps coaching himself. It doesn't count. He loses dribble, no problem. He makes a mistake. It's no big deal. Keep playing. What? Eight four. Pick up back. Eight six. He got a roll. Eight eight. Play the game. Eight winner right here. best thing that happened to me last year was getting to meet David Stern, you know, um, you know to talk to him one-on-one -on -one and listen to him speak, you know, I could, I could hear him speak for hours, he's such an inspirational person. Yeah. It was really great, you know, now being affiliated with the NBA and helping, being part of Going Basketball India, you know, it's, it's amazing and I feel like it's, it's helping me as well because, you know, now that I'm in the U.S. and I'm, I'm back here ready to play, you know, um, I've reached out to, to the NBA and David Stern and, you know, they're trying to help me, to get me, you know, get me seen. Obviously, I have to do it for myself, you know, this ain't no silver spoon and, uh, you know, silver platter put in front, you have to go and work. Right uh, no one's going to give you a free contract. Right so, uh, you know, that's why I'm, I'm in, the, in the gym every day with Adam getting it in. And when my time is right, I'm going to get my chance, I'll get my tribe.
Well, I'm here. I still have dual citizenship. I have my Indian passport and I have my Australian passport now as well. So with my Australian passport, you know, I use that because it's quick. You can just pretty much apply for your visa online the day before you come to the U.S. But the problem with that is that you can get three months to stay here um, each time. But if you leave the country for like two weeks and come right back, then you get three months again. But if I get this visa thing situated uh, over here and I, you know, I get extensions and I don't, I don't have to leave, I can stay a little longer, which I want to do. Yeah. I mean, in the U.S., but I mean, if I'm going to be in the U.S., I'd like to stay in L.A. I love the weather here. I love the people. You know, this is the place to be, really. things you know uh, you know obviously been blessed been blessed definitely been blessed I'm still able to play you know I wish after I, that thing yeah exactly well thank you kind of messed me up but you know it's it's something that you know you can't let things bring you down I mean I was supposed to be here already playing you know LA tunnel <laughs> we used to do this in India we go to yeah. the tunnel we all blow the horn is that right yeah, yeah it was always like that. well everyone blows the horn all the time because when you're driving there's no indicators you know you have to blow your horn to let someone know you're coming through. I would have been mature enough to handle it if I was younger, you know. Yeah. Um, because when we're younger, you know, we just take everything for granted, and everything is just fast. You just want, you want to rush everything, you know. Yeah. Uh, you just. So I mean, it's good that you times actually, come and times come. Yeah, you know, you got to take your time. You got to be patient. You know, like life is all about perfect timing, and um, you know, you want to be able to enjoy the moment in like just, different atmospheres. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's like everyone should be themselves. Like you know, you should be proud of who you are. And, and speak, speak for it. You know, don't don't let someone tell you you can't be who you are, or you know, like no matter what your nationality is, be proud of everything that you are. Because as soon as you realize who you are, the real person, I'm telling you, no one can take anything away from you. That's when you'll feel the strongest, and you'll feel like you know what, I can do whatever I want because I know who I am. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be who I am. If people don't like that, you don't need to surround yourself with those people. Surround yourself with people that. I'm proud of you for who you are and what you want to be.
You know, life is, is is up and down sometimes. You know, you're gonna have one day. I think, especially as an athlete, people don't realize that when you're an athlete, the day-to-day -day stuff that you go through is, is stressful. You know, what I mean, you have your good days and you have your bad days. It's it's like how do you bounce back from that? Thing, but um, I always say that you know. You should always have a backup plan in life because you never know, you know, what God has planned for us. Uh, you know, so always don't put all your eggs in one basket. But at the same time, you know, if you're still able to do something, do it for as long as you can.